Benoit, uh, IB Wave had an announcement this week that deals with small cells. Can yep. you tell us about the announcement? Yeah, definitely. So we announced a, a new product that is called IB Wave Mobile Planner, which uh, allows field personnel to plan and design in a very simple fashion, a very intuitive fashion, and very rapidly, small cells right on site. How does it work? Well, what we have is an application that runs on a tablet, a mobile tablet, and uh, which is um, an Android uh, tablet or an iOS-based tablet, which uh, allows um, a field, field personnel to be right on site and to select small cells components from a large components database that can then place these small cells on a floor plan and very rapidly visualize the propagation contours that will emanate from those small cells and then see very rapidly uh, if uh, the small cells uh, satisfy the design criteria. So you talk about components, can you list out maybe some of the types of components that are in the database? Sure. Well, for the mobile-based application, the product that we're launching, and so these are specifically small cell components and all the network uh, equipment that would be required to connect all these small cells together inside uh, buildings. And uh, say, for example, antennas or cabling, will you just be able to pick and choose and it'll automatically recalculate the uh, propagation characteristics of that area? Yeah, so the way it works is that uh, the... Um, the, uh, the, the application takes into uh, account a lot of considerations in generating these contours. So we look at the, the type of venue, is it uh, an open space or a very dense environment or somewhere in between. Uh, we look at the, or the tool will look at the, the specifications of the small cell which is selected, such as the output power, the type of antenna, the antenna gain, but importantly it also will look at the level of interference that may already exist for example, coming from, uh, from outside of the building. So what is then done is uh, a contour is generated that would be a, uh, a data throughput contour that then takes into account not only the physical characteristics of the building or of the floor, but also the existing RF environment. And in so doing, generates uh, a propagation or data throughput contours that, uh, that, would, be, uh, that would be covered uh, with that small cell or that collection of small cells if there's more than one in the building. And uh, how do you deal with um, um, uh, Wi-Fi and, and then how do you deal with the different um, RF characteristics or performance characteristics of various uh, components like an antenna? Well, so small cells uh, are uh, increasingly now multi-technologies and so they are cellular, they're 3G only, 3G and 4G, some of them have Wi-Fi, so the tool will model all of the technologies on the small cell. So this way the idea is to have uh, multiple technologies integrated Wi-Fi, cellular, whatever is covered by the small cell which is selected, which would come from any vendor that is modeled in the database. So all of those technologies are going to be modeled as one and uh, taken into account uh, in the design of the cell. When will the product be commercially available? So we're launching it right now and uh, we'll have it uh, in, a, in a general availability state uh, at the end of March, so in roughly about four weeks from now. Benoit, thanks for your time. You're very welcome.